all right then ladies and gentlemen hello and welcome to crypto space so in today's video we are going to cover caspa and a couple of interesting charts for altcoins and btc as well so if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and now without any further ado let's hop into it so caspa is currently trading at nine cents of a dollar um with market cap currently sitting at 2.2 billion dollars with 24 hour trading volume sitting at 20 million eight hundred and eighty three thousand usd so as we can see over here guys on the 24 hour um chart caspa is pretty much dipping but again that is going to be in my opinion at least not a financial advice of course that is going to be a beautiful opportunity to dca and we could see a bit of a um more a pullback okay but first i would like to share something okay so that over here is pretty much um on a caps uh, caspa website um but i would like to just point out one thing over here for so-called the future right so let me read that through and i'm going to show you something after that right so the highly anticipated Dag Knight protocol remains the summit objective and significant future goal for Caspa. This protocol is extended in, uh, to introduce a novel layer of innovation and efficiency to the network, further reinforcing Caspa's goal for 100 BPS and the first para parametless network. So, as we can see over here for the reference, guys, this is how it's going to be looking right, uh, right now, right? So one block per 10 minutes for btc right that is pretty much slow right but obviously btc is btc right that's a king and 10 blocks per second currently at the testnet for caspa right however if that is going to come into fruition right we can see 100 blocks per second as a future goal right so they haven't really stated when that thing is going to implement it right however if it's going to be implemented this year which will be great we could see a major, major um, price movement for Caspa, right? Um, so now, guys, as we can see over here, Caspa um, is dipping a little bit, right? But firstly, let's have a look at the trend line, guys, okay? So as we can see over here, we haven't lost that trend line over here. And um, as we can see over here, guys, in the previous huge pump for caspa um it did pull back 70 percent guys right so now if we are going to have a look over here from that high um now it's 35 right i'm not saying we are going to dip 70 right however um we have already touched the trend line so according to the trend line that caspa is um is respecting um these pullbacks are going to be smaller and smaller that's at least what i'm seeing right so as we can see over here guys um on the week sorry on the daily chart um caspa is pretty much showing um a bearish momentum right because we've got these lower lows that are pretty much um coming towards that um a trend line however that obviously it's still before you know the proper bull run uh kicked right so we have lost um that support on nine dollars uh sorry nine cents um nine cents support and it looks like caspa is going to um touch that level of trend line if that is going to touch that level of trend line then we could see another drop of let's say six percent which would be great in my opinion right i'm going to definitely wait for that pullback um if that is going to come into fruition well that would be great um we could um, we could scoop up some caspa um however however if not so be it okay this is in my opinion still a good price to um buy because if we are going to have a look over here right it's definitely to buy right now when caspa is 35 percent down rather than over here right but of course even if we we'll buy over here you know future gains are well nothing is guaranteed in the market but you know i'm not afraid to to dca into caspa at least okay so let's have a look at the four hourly time frame guys and let's see what's going on right so as we can see over here guys on the four hourly it looks more clear right that caspa is printing these lower lows over here and looks like we might touch that line over here that the trend line over here right so that pullback is pretty much um due to the fact that btc saw a major uh, pullback um since 
since few days, right? So um, BTC was trying pretty much to reclaim that level of 44, or at least, you know, that's what we're anticipating. And everybody thought that BTC is going to jump higher. However, we see that pullback. However, guys, I would like to remind you about the fact that we are still early in the cycle, okay? Because the halving is pretty much scheduled for April, as we can see over here, guys, 24th of April. So we still do have a little bit of time. And even if we are going to see some pullback over here, that is going to be, um, that is going to print um, downside momentum for Caspa. But one thing for sure, you know, um, we are still early. Okay, so let me have a look. Um, let me show you, sorry, guys. Let me show you um, a bit of a bullish news for Caspa. Well, maybe not so bullish, but you know, the security update, right? So we got great news, a Ledger Nano app is now available. So that means you can now secure and manage your Caspa with your Ledger Nano. So interesting guys, because you know, when I logged into my um, Ledger, I still don't see that option. I see only um, Ethereum, but there is wrapped Caspa that, you know, I don't really trust that I would like to see actual Caspa. Um, so I can send it there and funny enough that new news came out when I've ordered my um, my Tangem wallet, right? Because um, Tangem wallet supports um, Caspa. So I'm going to actually um, upload um, upload the video um, about, you know, the review of the Tangem wallet. Okay, so please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss on that review. And now guys, um, in order to put things into perspective, all right, um, maybe I'm going to show you this, okay, because this is something that you guys clicked for, okay, and please don't get me wrong, okay. Um, I said three days, okay, left, but these are three days till the next reduction, okay. These are not three days left till, you know, huge pump for Casper, right, which I believe is going to come eventually, right. Um, however, we don't necessarily have to see um, a big pump for Caspa in the three days, right? So the next reduction is going to come in three days and the next reward is going to be 131 Caspas, right? And the current reward is 139. So we've got minus eight Caspas in the next reward section for miners, right? So if, if basically we are going to see um, this thing coming into fruition, right? With let's say six months one year for caspa right you can just imagine you know how how high caspa is going to fly and now in order to put things into perspective for btc okay we've got two scenarios over here the green one and the red one right which both of them look bullish anyways right so Bitcoin has the first ever golden cross on a weekly chart confirming that the macro is super bullish. Don't expect an instant pump. It might go sideways or even dip for a bit, but mark my words, up only is inevitable. Dips are for buying. So of course that also includes Caspa guys, right? But as we can see over here, we've got that golden cross that we have experienced over here before and we saw a huge pump for BTC, right? And now over here, we could see that coming, right? However, this is not a 100% guarantee, right? So let's have a look at this chart for altcoins and of course, Caspa included. So we've got total two breaks through the SMA20 line, monthly TSI crosses bullish, and a chart looks at them similar to 2016. So as we can see over here, this is how it looks like, guys. And wow, that would be great if we would see a similar bull run to 2016, right? And now, let's have a look at this chart for BTC guys. And just in case, if you will be wondering again, why I'm showing you BTC price action and charts, you know, that's so we can pretty much see where we are at, right? Because if, if Bitcoin is not going to do well, Caspa isn't going to do well either. So, um, four hourly chart shows an ascending channel for BTC is right at the support. So as we can see over here, guys, right, it's pretty much still on track over here. So even if we dipped below over here and we are currently now and looks like we are bouncing from that support, the next level, let's say, would be 44,845, right? So this is where we are going towards to, at least according to this chart, okay? And now this is for old coins, guys, okay? So this is general market cap. As we can see over here, there's only three things that's for sure, death, halving, and decent altcoin season. So as we can see over here, guys, that trend line pretty much shows that even if we are going to dip a little bit on, on altcoins and we are going to pull back, um, the peak pretty much signals that we are going to see anything between six and seven trillion dollars for altcoins, guys. All right. So 
that thing looks very very bullish okay so please remember about DCing, DCing into your uh, caspa of course if you believe um, into the project because I do because um, after that in my opinion it would be too late at least for me right I'm not going to buy caspa here right it's definitely buy caspa over here where we are still relatively early to to this cycle all right then guys I hope that you have enjoyed that quick caspa update and please uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss on any caspa update all right then guys peace and love crypto